going on guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be changing the rear main seal on the 350 Z and as well as removing the exit clutch that we had installed and we're gonna go back to OEM to see if that does anything to the car I'm trying to retrace my steps because I'm really running out of ideas or possibilities of what it can possibly be but I think I think the flywheel or the pressure plate is the culprit here so let me show you really quickly what the condition of this clutch looks looks like. So I've already taken off the Exidy clutch kit. This is a stage two Exidy performance clutch. And um, one of the things that I did notice after taking it off the car is that the pads are extremely worn down. And mind you, I have not driven this car far. We've only done laps around the whole shop and every single time we drive it, it shuts down. So I think we've probably put like four, four or three miles on it. Um, this is the pressure plate and do you see some of the hot spots that are happening around? So that was the condition that it came off of. You guys gotta remember, I installed this clutch two and a half months ago and the car has not been able to drive on the street because I don't know why. I hate to blame the clutch kit because in all honesty, Exidy makes some amazing clutches and I think I might have just gotten a bad one and it's very possible that that can happen, but I won't know until I install my OEM clutch kit and see if the car starts running right again. And if it doesn't, then obviously we can roll out everything else because this is the same exact clutch that I had on before and I haven't really done much to the car other than change uh, VVT solenoids. But hopefully it can stay on long enough for me to pull a code or I have no idea. But I've been working on this car for about two and a half months, about to go on three, and I have missed every single track day that I've booked myself for. And I really just wanna go to one. I just wanna go to one and that'll make me happy. But so far that's not happening right now and that makes me sad. One thing that you're gonna notice about the shop is that we moved our toolboxes around um, so we can make space for a car to park here. So now we have space to park one, two, three, four, and then five over here. And my toolbox is all the way in the back. I'm gonna show you guys, have a mess going on. This is what my side looks like for right now. I definitely wanna get some cabinets going against the wall so I have more storage and I can put away all these oils and stuff. But um, as of right now, I like the space and it gives us more space to put more cars inside of the shop. As many of you guys know, the rear main seal keeps oil inside of the back of the engine and it's always important to go ahead and swap this out when you're under there changing your flywheel. So might as well just go ahead and do it. This cost about $35 on uh, Advanced Auto Parts and I used the 15% discount code so it was like 30 something bucks. But you can also get it off of Amazon or wherever you can get parts. So I'm gonna use this little blade to just kind of go around after I pry up the uh, old rear main seal. Carefully pry this out. Be careful. I'm gonna do this off camera because I don't have a tripod, but I'm gonna pry it out. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape off any uh, gasket maker that's surrounding this area, and I'm also gonna go ahead and uh, use a clean towel to clean around here and some brake clean. Oh, I live for this smell, man. It's just fucking amazing. Aye. So we're gonna go ahead and put gasket maker all around here and down here.
understanding this oil is completely black and we've only driven it two miles since I'm changing the oil already I'm gonna go ahead and install this oil pan that I bought a while back um, I removed the old one and I'm just kind of taking a peek inside seeing what's in there so I dropped the oil pan and I found this two pieces of metal at the bottom of the pan I don't know what that is I went ahead and I washed those pieces that I found inside of the oil pan and they look like this um, I don't know exactly what this is I'm thinking maybe a thrust bearing but uh, that would explain a lot of things wrong with my car um, also it would explain all the metal shavings inside of the oil pan seems like I might need to get a new motor okay it's a million degrees outside so we're gonna ignore the fact that we're in the BMW with my AC on blast but the reason why I didn't finish the video is because my VQ motor is Done. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I did announce that there were two thrust bearing washers inside of my lower oil pan. And some of you guys are probably going to be like, how the hell did you know that there was thrust bearing washers in your oil pan? Well, I was walking by my toolbox and I, I found this box and I was like, what's in this box? And it turns out that it was a brand new lower oil pan. And at the moment, I was going to change the oil on the 350Z and take a test drive to see if it would stop stalling. And I said, well, perfect time to just go ahead and replace this so I dropped a lower oil pan and to my surprise there was like this much of thick silver glittery oil inside of the oil, lower oil pan like sluggish looking and then I found two thrust bearing washers in the mix so that was a very sad day for me and I couldn't continue filming because I was sad um, I wouldn't say sad I was pissed off sad whatever and I just didn't want to film so I figured that I'd wait a couple days till I collected myself and figured things out um, everyone on Instagram wanted me to do a different type of swap LS 2JZ Hellcat and I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys I don't have the budget to start a $30,000 build at the moment but I did go ahead and find a new 06 rev up vq 35 de and i will be installing it sometime next week um, i haven't acquired it yet i did put the deposit down and i am going to pick it up this week but i am sure the car will be alive by the end of the month and i'm super excited to finally get this car out of my shop i've been paying insurance on it for i don't know what reason <laughs> i knew i wasn't going crazy i knew that there was something else wrong with this car and I think the reason why the VVT solenoids were going haywire was because of all the metal shavings that were inside of the oil so um, I think my friend Danny had said that it's it's called crank walk um, and I don't think it had anything to do with Exidy's clutch but it did so how am I explaining that my motor was already on its way out and the previous owner abused that car so badly I did buy somebody else's problem and it's unfortunate but I already knew that going into this project now with installing a stage 2 exit clutch it just kind of gave it that last push it needed to completely fucking go out and um, if my motor was in better condition I'm sure that the Exidy clutch would have worked perfectly fine and would not have not, would not have done any damage to the VQ. I'm not an expert in motors and clutches, so if you guys have a better explanation down in the comments, let me know. But pretty much, something happened with the crankshaft and those washers just came off. The car had 187,000 miles and it was either time for a new motor or a rebuild and in this case I'm just going to change the motor because I do not have time for a rebuild at the moment. I have two months left of track time and I just want to get this car into the track so I can get some time under my belt and that's all that's important to me. Um, I do want to give a huge shout out to Exidy for being so patient with me and also Bobber for helping me you know install the transmission and also helping me with the clutch several times because I'm you don't you guys have no idea how many times we've dropped that transmission and worked on that car and it's been a nightmare so thank you so much Bobber and thank you so much Exidy for just helping me out 
and being there for me. Um, Exidy has already sent out a brand new clutch that we're going to be installing on the new motor and hopefully, fingers crossed, nothing happens to this one. Um, it is a 06 rev up VQ 35 DE and it has 130,000 miles on it and it's been compression tested, it's all good and it comes from a dealer that I normally buy all my 350Z parts from and he's very trusted here in the New Jersey area. But uh, I just want to let you guys know what happened and I'm sorry for, I don't know, I don't know what I'm sorry for to be honest, I'm just doing that girl thing again. It's been very disappointing not having the car run for about three months, but everything happens for a reason and I want to say that I did learn a lot from this experience. Now I can apply that to other situations or possibly help somebody else that might be going through the same things. So it wasn't time wasted, it was just time well spent learning and I'm grateful for that. Anyways, I'm super grateful that you guys have been patient with me and the 350Z. I know it seems like it's always a problem after a problem after a problem, but I pretty much was putting band-aids on a car that definitely needed to have a rebuild or a motor replacement, and I know that now. But everything is a learning experience and everything happens for a reason. Anyways, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love every single one of you guys who support me, and I don't think I say that often. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!